for this. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, again on the product, a lot of times, as I mentioned, just like with the quotient, you guys could easily rewrite this. You could easily multiply 50 times 15, x squared times x cubed, y to the fifth times y, and then go ahead and simplify from there. However, um, especially a lot of times with the product, it's easiest to try to simplify your answer first. So what I like to do, again, when I'm simplifying, I'm not going to do the prime factorization. However, if you like doing that way, please, by all means, go ahead and do it. But I like to rewrite this as numbers I know I can take the square root of. So this would be 25 times 2. I already have x squared. y to the fifth can be written as y squared times y squared times y. Would everybody agree that's another way to write the exact same? It's not the prime factorization, but I wrote it in a way that I can take the square root of terms. And then I'd do the same thing for 15. I can't take the square root of any number um, of 15 or any of its factors. The factors of 3 are 15, or 3 and 5. So therefore, I'm going to leave that. x squared, though, I'll write as x squared times x and then times y. So again, the reason why I did this is because I, can, I know I've now written it as terms I know I can take the square root of. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of y squared is y. y squared is y. So I have y times y. And then what's left over is 2 times y. And then times, oops, over here, the only thing I can take the square root of is x. And then everything left over is going to be a 15xy. Okay. Now that I've simplified everything, um, now I can multiply. And when we're multiplying, we multiply our coefficients, and then we multiply the numbers inside of the radicands. So here I have 5xy times y, which is really 5xy um, 5 squared. I can multiply by another x, so that's going to leave me with 5x squared y squared. In the radical, I can do 2 times 5, which is 30x times y, which would give me y squared. So I have 30xy um, squared. Now, once I've multiplied it, I still want to go back and say, hey, is there anything else I can still simplify? Can I still simplify this in any way? Well, we take the square root of 30. Is there any number that divides into 30 that you can take the square root of? Unfortunately, no. However, I can take the square root of y squared, which is just going to be y. So that would be y times y squared, which is y cubed. So your final answer is 5x squared y cubed times 30x.